Erica. Hey, Erica. <laughs> I'm married, smartass. <laughs> What's your name? Pudding Tang. Uh huh. Are you gonna get your peanut up here in the video? Peanut. Hey, you're missing out on the wire. So we're using the new ring light. <gasps> Can you see? So bored. <laughs> it is bright. You think we've been drinking or something? <laughs> no. Well, you don't drink. Nah, I don't care. I don't mind a drink or two every once in a while. Well, we wanted to do a video about some of the things we keep on the truck that makes our lives a lot easier. So the first one we wanted to talk about, well, I actually have already done a video on this one particular item in the um, the truck toilet video. Y'all might have seen it. If not, I'll link it in the description or put a, a, a card up here. Or up here. I'm not sure which corner it's going to be in, but I'll link it. Um, it's the little wet wipes. Not the usual wet wipes that you get for your bathroom. These are actual washcloths, wet disposable washcloths, and they're called Assurance. Um, they come in a pack of 96. They're, it's a huge pack. Very huge pack. I don't know if you can see the scale compared to my hand and how big this pack is. But these are extra large, and I don't think they actually come in any other size. Um, they come in handy for after you're in the bathroom if, to keep uh, clean in between showers when you can't make it to the shower because oftentimes in the truck you just can't make it to the truck stop or do your terminal or whatever the case may be. So those come in really handy to stay fresh and clean between showers. And yeah, right honey. So the second thing is the uh, toothbrushes. Instead of like bringing a toothbrush that you're going to use and reuse and reuse and reuse and reuse and try to keep it clean and try to rinse it out good enough to keep it clean, keep it sanitized and all that stuff, we go to Walmart, which is where you can get the assurance wipes as well. We could get these at Walmart, six to a pack. Yeah, six to a pack for 98 cents. You use one, throw it away. Next time you want to brush your teeth, use another one, throw it away. You don't have to worry about making it to a sink because God knows I don't want to be in the bathroom with a whole bunch of other people trying to brush my teeth while they're in there taking care of their business at the same time. I just ain't, you know, ain't doing it. So use one, throw it away. Easy peasy. Got anything to add there, Condon? But it does make life a lot easier. I mean, the washcloths and stuff between showers stuff like that you get out you know you're working on the truck different stuff touching handles all that you can wash your hands off wash your arms off wipe your face off all that kind of stuff uh, of course we got you know the portable camper toilet in our truck which makes life really easy I mean, especially you can park more places you don't have to worry about being around a restroom and stuff like that makes life a lot easier um, you know if you get a little sickness just whatever you know makes life 100 percent easier you don't have to trot yeah <laughs> turkey I mean, trot if, if you're parked <laughs> and it's three o'clock in the morning you just don't have to yeah i don't want to be walking across a truck park truck truck stop parking lot or a uh, rest stop parking lot in the middle of the night by myself. I don't want to have to wake him up. So it's easier just to have a portable toilet. You can dump it at any dumping station. Most rest areas have them. Some truck stops have them. Dump it. It's free. 
most of the time. Well, there's some places that charge, but those are few and far between, at least where we go anyway. It makes life a lot simpler. I, I couldn't even imagine being in a truck. I mean, of course, when I was training, I mean, you, you know what it's like. You jump up in the morning, run inside, get a wait in line to use the bathroom, use the bathroom, you got a single toothbrush, you have to brush it in the sink, whatever, 30 other people have brushed it in the sink, and it just not... Not to mention all the remnants they leave. Oh, yeah. Sometimes it's real bad, so the little toothbrushes you brush and throw it away, not to mention after a day or two and you try and rinse it out in the truck, it's not easy to rinse because you're just pouring a bottle of water on it and the brush will start getting hard, but if you use the new ones, you get problem solved wipes work well. I mean, there's a lot of other little stuff and tricks that we've learned too. I guess we'll do more and more videos on that. Um, training, I mean, a lot of your trainers are like, they got a five gallon bucket and some bags. And that's their restroom. And I, just buy a porter toilet. It's self-contained, you can get a little bleach, you know, poured in there, no problem. Febreze makes a spray. Yeah. <laughs> it comes in handy. You got the curtains in the, the middle of the truck, pull the curtains, do your business, carry on. Um, if it wasn't for this toilet, I would not be out here with him on the road. I would be at home, not on the road. It just wouldn't happen. Because we'd have to stop at every rest stop, truck stop, known to man. Is that it? Saves a long time. Yeah, yeah, it saves time too. So if you're uh, in a hurry, you know, trying to get to one of your pickups or deliveries or whatever, you don't have to worry about stopping at a truck stop to use the bathroom. And um, we also bring our food with us, but we'll do that in another video. And I think this one's done carried on a little too long anyway. So we'll talk about that in the next one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.